Three days after Syracuse University Chancellor Kent Severud called on a former U.S. Attorney General to review his Department of Public Safety, the department's union is speaking out. The SU DPS Officers Union sending a letter to the Chancellor to set the record straight. News Channel 9's Julia LeBlanc tonight tells us about their concerns. A bold letter sent to Chancellor Kent Siverud by a spokesperson for the SU DPS Officers Union. Members calling on the Chancellor to allow officers to do their jobs to keep the university and its police force safe. It claims the Not Again SU movement, led by student protesters, is creating a negative and fabricated image of DPS. Students have been protesting at Kraus Heinz Hall since last week. And Wednesday night, they blocked traffic, making a human chain. The union spokesperson says these events have made it difficult for DPS to do their jobs, not because the protests are happening, but because they say the university has kept officers from carrying out their duties during the events, saying they've acted at all times under the orders of the administration. The letter goes on to say officers have been verbally abused by students, had food thrown at them, some students even touching their security weapons as officers tried to close Kraus Heinz Hall. The letter goes on to say, quote, the lack of respect toward law enforcement being fostered by SU is tragic. Such behaviors, if they occurred outside of SU, would no doubt result in arrests being made. The DPS officers can no longer tolerate being treated this way. When we make commitments. This coming after the Chancellor called on former U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch to lead an independent review of the agency. His reasoning to address concerns raised with how DPS engages with the community and student protesters. Despite their concerns, the union spokesperson says its members will continue to stand with their chief and follow his orders. To be clear, this letter is coming from the union representing DPS officers, not the agency itself. Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9. Julia, thanks. And we're still waiting for an update on the independent investigation into DPS from former U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch.